Hello and welcome to our coverage of the FIFA World Cup 2018. Another interesting day today where uh, Brazil will be up in the first match. Of course, the, the other, other match between Iceland and, uh, uh, and Nigeria, of course, doesn't look that mouth-watering, but a whole nation, which is Argentina, will be waiting with bated breath. And so will our guest Jyoti here in our studio as well, hoping for a Nigerian win. We'll talk about all of that and also what happened in the matches uh, last night. But first, we'll look at the first match. Brazil will take on Costa Rica in their second and must-win group game. The five-time world champions were stalled at a 1-1 draw by Switzerland in their first game in Group E. Brazil needs to win this game to cement its foot in the next round. While Costa Rica, which is at the bottom of the group tally, needs at least a draw to remain in the fray. Time world champions looked colourless against a surprising Swiss side in their opener last week. Though they were stopped at a 1-1 draw, the Brazilians are not worried about qualifying for the knockout phase just yet. In their last two World Cup encounters with Costa Rica, Brazil have come out victorious on each occasion, beating them 1-0 in 1990 and 5-2 in 2002. The worry for Brazil remains Neymar's fitness. The striker sat out from Tuesday's training session because of pain in his right ankle. The team has so far underplayed the slight hitch. O oh, Neymar é um dos melhores jogadores do mundo, né? <laughs> jogar com ele, jogar com ele no nosso time, com certeza é um grande plus para gente. É um jogador importantíssimo para nossa equipe e o que eu posso te dizer é isso, é quando ele está em campo. E veremos, creo que no, neste caso é tema sonar, pode ser com doblaje, pero sim, sí, en, en este caso, pues, eh, no, no, no me gustaría que hubiera uma una falta brusca, eh, donde, donde hubiera uma problemática. Creo que, que hay formas e, e em esto, pues, eh, nós também, pues, veremos, e já os muchachos, mais ou menos, têm claro como, como vai ser. The five-time world champions are among the favourites to lift the trophy, but so far the flair and killer instinct they are known for is missing. Stats are loaded in their favour as well, for they have lost only once to Costa Rica in 10 meetings between the sides. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV. And joining me in the studio, like always, uh, Shekhar Luthra, sports editor of the DNA, and Jyoti Bharat, of course, uh, former Indian national player. Before we chat about this big match between Brazil and Costa Rica, let's take a look at the lineup, the possible lineup for Brazil first. Of course, uh, Alisson in goal, Danilo right back, Thiago Silva, Miranda, Marcelo left back, Fernandinho, uh, Casemiro, Coutinho, Willian, Neymar, and Firmino. We look at uh, the Costa Rican uh, lineup as well. You have Keylor Navas in goal, uh, Gamboa, Gonzalez, Acosta, Duarte, Calvo, Campbell, Guzman, Borges, Ruiz, and Urena. Well, uh, Jyoti, heartbreak uh, uh, from yesterday, of course, Argentina losing terribly to Croatia. But let's focus on the other South American team now, Brazil. Great team on paper, but lackluster in the first match uh, against Switzerland. A big match today against Costa Rica. It is a big game for them. Um, it's a young side. I'm sure they're eager to prove something at this World Cup. And they have the quality. Um, and it's not just Neymar, you know, he's supported by uh, a bunch of really qual like quality stars. Uh, and if they can all just, you know, even do well, it's not, not even their best, but if they can just play well together, this squad is really going to go far in this competition. You know, uh, Shekhar, as far as the Brazilian team is concerned, they showed us what they can do in the first 15 minutes of the match against Switzerland. But after that, after they scored the goal, they seem to have switched off. It remains to be seen what kind of game they bring to the table today, isn't it? The flair is what they are known for and they should play football that way. 
I think Brazilians are always known for, you know, you score three, you get two, you know, that's, that's free-flowing football. If you come back to defense, if you try and imitate other teams, then you are not, the, not playing the Brazilian style. That's somewhere, you know, the, the, the Argentinians are a mix of, you know, Brazil and Europe. That's where they are good in defense. But Brazilian flair is different. And, you know, looking at a scenario where Argentina looks like to be out, though, again, mouth-watching things for so many. But believe me, this is the first time in the, in the World Cup history, probably, where there is a scenario looking like where both teams could actually, you know, go out if they don't play to their potential. And today's game is the key game. Not just for us, not just for the fans, but also for the organizers. Because yeah. if this team goes out, believe me, the, the entire specter, the entire, you know, the entertaining kind of thing will go out of the World Cup. You know, the Brazilian formation is on air at the moment. Of course, they're likely to play a 4-2-3-1 uh, kind of a formation in this particular match. You know, Jyoti, uh, players to watch out for, like you mentioned, of course, certainly is Neymar, but he's going to be marked because of his quality. That having been said, do you think that there could be someone else in the team who could be the man to watch out for today? For that matter, Firmino, for that inst for instance. Firmino comes into the side. Uh, he didn't play the first game. Um, but, um, you know, Neymar being marked can be a positive for them because they have... Uh, Coutinho is going to be free. Yes. You know, he's been in great form. Um, and, you know, the, going forward, they have Villian. You know, these are players who can shoot from anywhere. And, Neymar being marked, I think, will be a blessing in disguise for them. Sure. You know, Shekhar, as far as the other team is concerned, Costa Rica, you know, we are going to, we are expecting Brazil to play an attacking okay. game today because of what happened in the previous game against Switzerland. That having been said, do you think that the goalkeeper, Kaelor Navas, Navas, will be the man for Costa Rica today? Definitely. He has to come out with some surprises because he's the key man. We have seen in the last game also. It's, it was not like the first 15 minutes, there were a couple of other attacks by, by Brazilians, but the goalkeeper stood so firm. And that's where I think the, 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 the dependence on goalkeepers is so much for the, you know, especially for these teams, which are underdogs, which are trying to make a, you know, mark in this World Cup. And that's where I think in last couple of days, a uh, couple of days ever since the World Cup has taken off, I think all these underdog teams are doing so well. Because their defence, their you know goalkeepers, they are doing well. And today's game could be one of those. Sure. Moving on now, of course, to the other game. Nigeria first appeared in the World Cup in 1994 after having struggled for years to get in. In that edition, they shone through two, topping their group that had Argentina, Bulgaria and Greece. This time, the Super Eagles have the youngest squad at the World Cup and the lack of experience has shown. The African side are at the bottom of Group D after losing their opening match 2-0 to Croatia. And if they want to stay in contention, they need to do well against Iceland. Iceland, on the other hand, are at the World Cup for the first time and they impressed in their opening game when they held mighty Argentina into a 1-1 draw. Hans Holdorsen put in an impressive performance at the goal and helped Iceland to grab a vital point. They will be keen to take their performance forward today. Well, let's take a look at the possible lineups as far as this match is concerned. Nigeria first in goal, uh, Uzoho, uh, right back, Shehu, defenders, Trust Ikong, uh, Balogun, Idobu, Indidi, Mikel, Onazi, Moses, Ig. Halo and Iwobi. Looking at the uh, Iceland uh, possible lineup now, of course, in goal we have uh, Holderson who performed extremely well in that first match against Argentina, where he certainly was the man of the match there. We've got uh, Severson, Arneson, Sigurdsson, Magnusson, Holfredson, Gunnarsson, Sigurdsson again, this is G. Sigurdsson, of course, Bjornsson, uh, Gislason, and uh, Finn Bogson. This is the lineup as far as Iceland is concerned. You know, uh, Jyoti, Iceland team, first World Cup, but over the last two years, they have put in some amazing work. They have performed extremely well in the Euros. They beat Spain in the opening match. And now they have held uh, Argentina as well, 1-1 in the previous match of the World Cup. It's fascinating to see such a small country uh, put up such an amazing team, a uh, team that is, you know, shocking the world, really. Uh, their first game against uh, Argentina was very impressive. 
um, you know, Argentina had no way through them. And um, to come out and score against them and, you know, draw that game 1-1, uh, it's, it's unexpected and they're going to be super high on confidence going into today's game. Sure, they're going to be super yeah. high on confidence. Shekhar, you know, you know, looking at their team, the, most of these players had exposure in either Denmark, Sweden or Norway. Again, all these three teams are so good in aerial play. They are, again, all the tall, tall players are there. And they are there not as a, uh, you know, they are not there to enjoy the party. They are the party spoilers. And that's what Ireland, Iceland has shown. That if you are not serious against them, if you are taking them uh, just on the basis of population 5 lakhs or somewhere, you know, that yeah, small, less than five small, lakhs. Less yeah. than small part of Delhi somewhere, then you are making a big mistake. These guys are there to... You it's know, incredible, you know, isn't it? A incredible. population of under 5 lakhs producing world-class players like this. But that's the beauty of this entire Europe, that side, you know, these are small countries. And uh, for most of the time, they, they can't come out and play. But the moment they get that opportunity, they all come out. It's a, it's a kind of playing nations, you know, the small, small play, playing nations. You go there, see them cycling, see them even rowing in, in those kind of, you know, temperatures. That's what the beauty of these small small countries. Iceland's are. formation on air uh, at the moment in front of us, of course, uh, most likely to play a 4-2-3-1 kind of a formation, of course, is uh, Iceland. And uh, if you look at Nigeria, it will most likely to play a 4-3-3 uh, kind of a formation. You know, uh, Jyoti, as far as uh, this particular World Cup is concerned, are you surprised with how so many teams have shown so much of caution, you know. They've played a very defensive game all throughout, scoring once and then defending, not going for the second goal. Um, yes, so that has been surprising. It's not as attacking as we would hope to see as viewers, but, you know, statistically, um, you know, it's working for them and uh, that's their strategy, especially with weaker teams going up against a slightly stronger team uh, them, and them adopting a slightly more defensive approach. Uh, it's working for them because it keeps them in the running. Um, but, you know, as a viewer, I'd love to see slightly more attacking football. But, but that's what Jyoti always happens, you know. Safety first is the formula for every team. Yeah. Once you know you are through to the second round, then comes the attacking game mm. because that's where I think you have to, you know, go for do or die kind of situations. We have seen in the past also, first four matches, first three matches are always been relatively, you know, on the back foot. You uh, go score there and try and defend there, you know. You just have to go through, not uh, thinking too much about the score line. But in that group, in Argentina or somewhere, you know, if they have to go through, now they have to think we about have the score. Goal, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to the third match of the day. Serbia will take on Switzerland in a crucial Group E game, which may well decide who advances through to the round of 16 from the group featuring Brazil and Costa Rica as well. Serbia currently leads the group after their win against Costa Rica in the opening game. On the other hand, world number six team Switzerland cannot be discounted, uh, especially after their stout 1-1 draw against the five-time world champions Brazil in the opener. This will be the first ever meeting between the two sides and the Swiss hold the record of losing just one of their last four games against a European side in the World Cup. World number six Switzerland is also on a stupendous run, losing just one of its last 23 games, where it has won 16 times and drawn six times. That also included a draw against one of the favourites, Brazil, last week. Well, it looks like it's going to be a tough game between Serbia and uh, Switzerland. Jyoti, what's likely to happen here? Who do you think is going to win this match? Difficult to call, would you say? I think it's going to be a draw. I think both teams are going to be equally matched. Um, Switzerland showed us in their first game that they are a very good defensive side. The way they defended uh, against uh, Brazil, uh, they're up against you know, a, a quality attacking side and to defend like that for 90 minutes was uh, a very good. And they're going to go up against Serbia who are not going to find it easy to score against them. So it's going to be a very, very uh, close game. Tactical game, game would you say? Very tactical game, yeah. And I think the difference is going to be set pieces. Okay, the difference is going to be set pieces. Uh, let's look at the lineup now as far as Serbia is concerned. They're most likely to play a 4 5 1 formation. And uh, if you look at their team, of course, uh, you have uh, Stojokovic, Ivanovic, Milenkovic, Tosic, Kolarov, Matic, Milovic. Uh, Savic, Tadic, Kostic and Mitrovic. 
difficult names to pronounce, but I hope I got that right. So talking about Switzerland now, let's look at the uh, lineup as far as Switzerland is concerned. Sommer, Lichsteiner, Scher, Akanji, Rodriguez, Berami, Shaka, Shakiri, Zemali, Zubair, and Seferovic make up the 11 for Switzerland. World number six, Switzerland. They've been a great side, great, uh, you know, not very great to watch, but they've got the job done at the end oh, of the yes. day. They are tactically, they are very superior. You know, the, the, the defense, as Jyoti was saying, they are one of the best sides in the world right now as far as defending is concerned. But again, this Yugoslav block, Czechoslovakia, Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, all this block was so solid when, you know, the, those uh, olden days. So Serbia, you know, uh, all these smaller, uh, smaller countries have come out of that. And look at these players, they are very formidable sides. Most of them are playing in that particular block where Russia is one of the, you know, key places, the Russian league. So I think for, for them, it's like coming back to their own cities. There will be a lot of, you know, uh, support from the fans also. And we have seen, uh, you know, in this particular, there, there are hostile fans also. They are supporting them. Iran is one of those, you know, uh, which are enjoying this uh, hospitality. So I would expect a tough game. But uh, the crowds at the having end of the a day. draw at this level, I'm, I'm telling you, it would be a spoiler for both. One has to come out as a winner because but that's where three points after the first match. Oh, yes. Serbia, just Serbia needs will to... be obviously keen to have a draw, but yeah. not uh, you know this uh, Swiss side. Swiss side, because yes. Swiss will have to because depends what will happen in the first game. Certainly. If Brazil wins, Switzerland will go all out to win. Indeed, all right. It's going to be interesting, of course. Uh, uh, on that note, we'll slip into a short break. It's a wrap-up as far as the preview is concerned. On the other side, we'll review the matches of last evening. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.